you use the same prompt, you use the same model, but the result is always slightly different. There is never the same wording that the model gives you. Why? Why it's so inconsistent and unpredictable? When you use a language model, like ChatGPT or Claude or Mistral or any open or closed source model. You might expect it to behave like a calculator. Same input, same output every single time. 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? Well, LLMs are not calculators, that's for sure. Even if sometimes we compare them to them in terms of technology use and being a tool. When you use language model like ChatGPT or Claude or any open or closed source model, you might think that with the same input it will be always the same output. But in practice, each time you send the same prompt, you will get slightly different answer, even with a zero temperature, meaning all the randomness settings are off. Why? Why? Why so inconsistent? Why so unpredictable? Here's a new paper that just came out of the Thinking Machines lab started by Mira Murati after she quit OpenAI. And it's super interesting paper. First, with this paper, they start in their new blog, Connectionism. Second, they promise to share their scientific insights. And third, after quite a silence, they finally unfold, in a sense, what are they working on and where their focus is. In this first blog post, which is called Defeating non-determinalism in LLM inference, Horace He and the team of the Thinking Machines Lab tries to understand if there is a way to explain more precisely why LLMs are unpredictable and if there is a way to make them predictable. This article got a lot of attention, but it's fairly technical. You need really a lot of time to slowly read it through to understand every detail. Though it's definitely worth doing, not everyone can do it or have time to do that. So I thought, why not to walk you through the main idea and explain everything in plain language? Because it is important to understand why AI can feel so unpredictable and if there is a way to make it actually predictable and reproduce the same results time after time. So the inconsistency that you see is called non-determinalism. And it means, as we discussed, the system doesn't always give you the same output, even when every setting is fixed. For researchers, that's a reproducibility problem. For engineers, it makes debugging harder, and for everyone else, it makes AI unreliable. We expect from the machine, if it's becoming such a huge part of our life, we expect our machine to always produce the same output, if it's the same input. But with generative models, it's not guaranteed. And before that, there was one explanation to that. Let's go through that first. Most people, including experts at first, assumes this happened because of two things, messy math and chaos of parallel computing. And let's unfold this a little bit to understand better. We know that computers use floating point numbers and floating point arithmetics has some quirks. Here's why. When people add numbers, just imagine yourself putting a column of different numbers and summing them up, then changing the order of these numbers and summing them up again. The total, the same. The total will be the same, no matter the order, right? But computers, however, don't use exact numbers. They use floating point numbers, which are approximations. It's approximate in a sense. And that means that each operation includes a tiny rounding error. If you change the order of these additions, the rounding errors stack up differently, and the final result can vary slightly. Plus, the second point, GPU run thousands of threads at once, so sometimes the math gets grouped differently. That sounds reasonable, right? And it is true, many of core GPU operations, like matrix multiplication, for example, they designed to be deterministic. And if you run them the same way, you'll get the same result every time. So, it turns out that the floating point quirks and concurrency alone do not explain all observed non-determinalism. You need to go deeper. And the article points out one interesting thing, something else. It's batching. And here's the idea. When you send a prompt to a model hosted on a server, your request often isn't run by itself. To be efficient, the server groups multiple prompts together into a batch. And if you're 
proms goes alone, it's handled one way. If it goes in with nine others, it's handled slightly differently. And that grouping changes how the underlying operations run. And that can change the result, meaning the output. So the inconsistency isn't because the math itself is random. It's because batching breaks the determinism of those otherwise stable operations. So the researchers of the Thinking Machines Lab offer a solution to design operations batch invariant. And that means they behave absolutely the same no matter how many requests are grouped together. And that works. The thing is that it comes with a cost. And the cost is slower performance. You trade efficiency for reproducibility. And in practice, a lot of systems still prefer efficiency. So what does this mean? For researchers, it means that since you need to reproduce results exactly, since you need determinism, you might prefer slower performance and choose reproducibility. For engineers, maybe the same, because debugging a system is tough if outputs keep shifting. For users, it explains why ChatGPT can feel slightly inconsistent even if you set it to zero randomness. And it explains that there is a way, this paper explains that there is a way to come to the point when AI will be able to produce the same output for the same input, making it trustworthy and reliable. And this is super important because if you imagine AI becoming an essential part of our lives and it becomes so, becoming our doctors, becoming our teachers, our drivers, advisors, you need to be able to rely on the same output if the input is the same. Otherwise, it's just mind-boggling. So Thinking Machines Lab tell us that there is a way and there is no necessity to just settle and give up. They say, yes. AI is probabilistic. Yes, it's tempting to accept a little non-determinism as normal, but that's not good enough. When we dig into inference system, we can't find where drift happens. So we have to dig deeper to find the solutions. I find it absolutely fascinating. And maybe it will cost something, speed, engineering time, but that's a trade-off. And with time, maybe we'll find the better solutions. Just dig deeper. Because if we want AI, that we can rely on, reproducibility becomes essential. Thank you for watching. This is a new format. We probably will retire three wows and one promise. We'll come every week with one important paper explained in plain language, or one big question or mini doc series. It's still in process. Leave me your feedback in the comments and I will get back to you and I will be working on improving and making it more useful for you. Thank you so much. Subscribe, send it to your friends, tell me what you think.